Hi Taurus, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your weekly indie read. Okay. All right. Uh oh, a card wanted to pop out. Thinking man. All right. So you may have a lot on your mind right now. What moves to make? Which direction to go? What to do about a certain a situation um, that may have been um, weighing heavy, but then it was placed in front of you for you to really um, look at and direct your attention to. To see which dark like you can see things crystal clear now a lot of clarity a lot of clearing energy so you may be doing a lot of spiritual um cleansing at this time all right so let's see what's going on i think they said that y'all were getting hit hard or coming to some having some revelations or realizations at this time again i don't know all about um the um eclipse and all the other transits that apparently are going on plus harp okay that you know i think that a lot of people forgot about that part of the natural disasters that are happening harp okay what do you have here for taurus show what do you have for taurus thank you all right victorate is assured show all right angel of love what else action what's under victory journey what's under angel of love all tied up it's sitting in the middle of this all right and what's out under action healer of ages it's making sense now all right what's under journey door to spirit what's under all tied up the thinking woman and that's what i was talking about earlier so that makes sense to me what's under healer of ages community all right so many of you are stepping more into your purpose or it now when I say that, I don't know what your purpose is, right? But when it comes to people stepping more fully into their purpose on the light side of things, because you do have people who step into their purpose on the dark side of things, right? So what happens, uh, what I'm seeing here is that you're stepping more into your love and compassion energy, um, becoming the healer uh, that you are. You could be uh, promoted to a certain department or over a number of people to bring that to them as well because it does happen like that as well. Like things really change when this person became the, you know, CEO or whatever it is, right? So let's look at these cards before I start clarifying anything and see if the story changes up, goes somewhere else, or if something else comes out that you need to hear, okay? So there may have been some type of success, some type of celebration, something that you made it through that you may not have even thought that you would make it through, but you stayed focused here. And it may have to do with matters of the heart, but also just really uh, moving more into a space and loving who you are and what it is that you do and taking action. Maybe you are going on uh, some type of trip. It could be the fool's journey that you decide to hop on here because um, there may have been a series of unfortunate events or just a series of events that led to this point. Of course, right? You're living. So everything um, lines up the way that it should more than likely. But with this all tied up, holding the most weight, you may have been in a space where you were limiting yourself, limiting your di um, the direction that you wanted to go, not seeing things clearly, like I was saying earlier. But overall, I think that the all tied up has to do with um, you taking a chance, moving forward, but then going back into some old ways of thinking or being that you have to be released from. And that's where that healer of ages comes in. Um, that has a lot to do with, you know, uh, changes in what it is that you are doing, right? That five, it's a number 51. So it's a five moving into a one, which will bring you balance. And it's individual, right? Even if other people play a part in it in some type of way, the action is up to you. The thing that needs to be done is up to you. I feel as though, you know, your solar plexus, your individuality, your um, the way that you stand in your power is changing, okay? With this door to spirit coming after the healer of ages, this is a lot of understanding. This is a lot of understanding what it is that is going to take. This is a lot of information about what had you tied up, why you had certain thought patterns, thought waves, um, the way that you allow maybe people to speak into your life, right? Because you have to use your discernment and hone your discernment so that you will be able to make the right choices moving forward. It's so important. You may have been caught up in a group situation, something with the community, something that you had to walk away from or walk further into, right? Maybe the job that you are being promoted in has a lot to do with you working with people um, on a um, more of a... Um, 
uh, it's giving group, okay? The community, right? Being around people who see things differently, do things differently, but overall, I think that you're over a community with this community card. The action uh, here is like, you may have taken a self-care break, a self-preservation um, break, okay? That led you to this space of the unknown and you are figuring things out the more that you move forward, okay? So let's go ahead and start clarifying. Yeah, because I really do feel as though you may have gone through a space, gone through a time um, that was kind of confusing. There may have been some confusion. Um, even with this door to spirit, this is a beautiful energy. Maybe you're welcoming in more spiritual teachings, awareness, right? How things connect. You're seeing how things connect intuitively and making sense of the abstract in a logical space for other people. All right. With that thinking woman, I feel like you may go mull over a number of things before making a decision. This also may be that you are deciding to go back to school or what have you. All right. So let's go into it. What is this victory card? Okay. What is this victory card for Taurus, Chill? The King of Swords. All right. The King of Swords is very logical, very straight up, you know, kind of cold. But um, overall, you made it through this. It's like um, the, the momentum that you had probably came to a halt uh, when it comes to, um, you know what, when it comes to what, what it is that you were going through. I'm seeing something here, okay? So this King of Swords and this Victory card. Victory is being initiated. Victory is like the Chariot card, getting it together and moving forward. The chair, the, the Merkaba, you can look that up to see how it resonates with you. But getting into that Chariot of Ascension, and what I'm saying, this is what I saw. This, um, I always say that this is a crowning card because of this Victory leaf, uh, Reef, um, this crown here. His crown is on the ground. You had to think it through in order to get victory in a situation. You had to put on your what thinking cap, okay? So let's see. What is this victory card and this? Like maybe you defeated someone or something, all right? And it wasn't as hard as you thought, okay? What is this king of swords and this victory card? The emperor. Maybe you had to face up with your boss. Uh, you had to speak your mind, speak your truth. But... um. Yeah, because there may be somebody at your job that was very playful, uh, someone who was a jokester, someone who um, wasn't serious about as serious about the work as you were. But uh, it's like a lot of people couldn't see that they were not serious about the work the way that you were, and you had to speak up for yourself. That's possible. This is sounding like a job read for Taurus. What is this angel of love? Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you broke up with someone, you found out that they were betraying you, or maybe, you know, you found that self-love to see where you were betraying yourself. It's possible, right? This could be deception um, when it comes to what it is that you've worked on, what you've worked through here, but there's some type of insight coming. I do see there's some type of insight that is coming that is going to um, make sense to you to take action. Maybe you're taking legal action, Okay. But let's see here. What is this Seven of Swords? Because it was a situation that you probably been tiptoeing around, tiptoeing about, or maybe someone was tiptoeing around, um, telling the truth about something. And now you see, you know, your worth, possibly. What is this Seven of Swords? The Magician. Maybe they were, you know, there was something charismatic, Nine of Wands. It reminded you of something of your past. You couldn't put your finger on it. All right, because sometimes uh, things that we need to grow out of and things that we need to see are presented at other people, right? That's the important uh, part of socializing or just, you know, uh, bouncing off of other people so that you can pay attention to what you need to work on. Sometimes it's presented in that way. Somebody may have given up on a love situation or a partnership situation. What is this? I was about to say situation. <laughs> What is this action card here for Taurus, honey? The seven of coins. All right. It's been a standstill too long. Something that was stagnant. It's time for you to reap what you sow, but you know that faith without works is what? Okay. So it's like you look back on the past, look back on what has happened in the recent past. And it's like, you know what? I'm making a change today, not tomorrow. I'm making things happen today, not tomorrow. And with that seven of pentacles, it does have to do with, you know, um, paying attention to what it is that you have um, 
built in the past, produced in the past, the work that has been done, the work that you put into certain things, and moving into a space where you're ready to make a decision, plant a seed. What is this Seven of Pentacles? Knight of Wands, inspired action. It's like you're, you're like I said, there's some something creative, a creative way of thinking about things, doing things. There's something that took a twist that really got you on fire, got your spirit just going, 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 right? Your, your life force energy is like through the roof. Maybe you started yoga, doing yoga, exercising more, whatever it is, to, in addition to everything else that you've done. And it's like, wow, okay. Just make sure you don't burn out. You know what I mean? All right. What is this uh, journey card here for Taurus? The three of coins and the seven of cups. All right. So that may be why you move into that all tied up that comes after journey. So you may um, took the fool's journey and then got confused or twisted in your um, in matters of the heart, right? Or your emotions. What direction do you go? And had to get grounded. Maybe you had to ask someone for. Maybe you sought wise counsel. It may even be that you know a collaboration or someone invited you somewhere and they confused you. And it's like, okay, so why did you invite me and this happened? Why did you? Maybe it's because where they invited you. Uh, the people that were also there, they may know that you don't fuck with them because that doesn't happen sometimes. But maybe they didn't know to what extent. What is this all tied up? But there's some type of a confusion. Let me check this confusion. Because this, uh, this confusion, this Seven of Cups, right? It could be something painful, emotionally painful uh, when it comes to uh, the work that you are deciding to do or the advice that you are deciding to take or consult consultation all right um what is this seven of cups in this 7337 that's that fool card clarifying that journey and this seven of cups and so i'm gonna move on so it's like you took a leap of faith or um maybe you made a decision out of your emotions and that was a no no right you want to be very logical when you're making decisions okay so it's like something that you put your um you may have a number of options and maybe the option that you chose ended up, you know, not being what you thought it would be. So that moves into this all tied up, which is like the eight of swords, but it's a two moving into a three, making a five. So maybe the partnership that you had had one too many people. Um, the place that you went had one too many people and you had to pull someone over to the side, but now you have questions. What is this all tied up for Taurus? I don't think that you're um, as conflicted as you could be because I still feel like you have a lot of love where where you are open to what's next, right? What is this all tied up here for Taurus? The Three of Cups. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That was a good one. The Three of Cups. You may be caught up in a situation. I don't know if it's a third party situation, but you may be caught up in a situation here where it may be that community or that group of people right and with this three of cups it just appears uh, things are not what they appear right you may have you may think that you are obligated to something but there is a way to get out of it here with that all tied up um someone painted a picture that and it did um okay so someone may have painted a picture and the picture that they painted or the things that they said would transpire it was totally opposite of that right excuse me what is this three of cups here for taurus please the four of swords see that's what i'm saying that four of swords is like healing figuring things out balancing contemplating you know thinking things through taking up some rest from a group um activity or you know some type of collaboration it could be a third party situation okay but it's like no nah, i need time to think this over maybe that's why you pull back to because like I said, I don't think that you're in a space in that Eight of Swords or that All Tied Up card where you're not open to viewing things in a different from a different perspective. Because the All Tied Up card can easily be some bondage, binding, some, some crazy shit. What is this Healer of the Ages here for Taurus, honey? The Two of Wands. All right, you're ready for this change. You're not conflicted anymore. You, would, you know, you move into a space where... Um, there's a dramatic upheaval of, and there may be emotions that come out. Maybe you regurgitate. Um, all of a sudden, you can't eat the things that you were eating, and you no longer have a taste for certain things. Um, in order to fix a situation, you have to lay proper plans, proper foundations, seeing things clearly with that 
uh, Ace of Wands that I was thinking earlier about that creative spark. And then the Knight of Wands came out. You took the action. The other things happened. So now you went through a number of things that let you know that, okay, so this is going to be the next thing, the next step in the foundation, the plans that, you know, I'm making and um, doing and sticking to. All right. Because I feel like you're very strategic at this time. But this healer of ages is coming through, which could be someone that you are working with that is going to give you some type of advice. Maybe it's that community that you are joining, um, that collective force synergy to get a goal accomplished. What is this two of wands and this healer of ages? Bad built and friends. All right. So you're being healed from some type of toxicity, some type of um, something that no longer serves you. You experienced it. You went through it. You've grown out of it. It could be something as simple as something you ate okay but it's like no matter how much you know sometimes people think that oh I, I don't do this anymore and this isn't happening that doesn't mean that bad bill and friends which can come up as of course you know thoughts feelings um triggers it doesn't mean that they aren't still lurking right we are just asking that we are being perfected in the ways where we are imperfect in certain areas because you know perfect people ain't here i don't think but I'm going to leave that alone. Mm -hmm. It's subjective. All right. What is this door to spirit here for Taurus, please? And thank you, honey. The page of one message coming through, spiritual messages coming through, something that you will, um, that is going to encourage you and give you even more strength. What is this thinking woman? The chariot. How do I ride this? How do I go here? Maybe you're making a decision on buying or purchasing a new car, moving, relocating. The high priestess, they say, you know what you're thinking about. All right. Things are going to be revealed to you when you make this change and, and say yes to your process and move forward. All right. This is a journey that you haven't been on. What is this? You may have had dreams about it, but you haven't been on this journey. What is this community car? The world. All right. Maybe you are deciding to join um, a online community but overall maybe this uh the cycle is ending or this is either a cycle opening or closing with that right with the uh, world card new beginnings all right innovative impressions and a lot of other uh beautiful things because i also feel like you know you may even if you're single i feel like you're going to meet someone new when you join some type of dating group or dating dating <laughs> All right, Taurus, that is your read. I will talk to you next week.